centuries old. Come one, come all, grab a scoop of vanilla. This is the story of Ram and Sita, but it is known as Ram Leela. Portraying Lord Ram on stage will be the one loved by one and all, Bheem. And along with Bheem will be Chutki, Raju, Jaggu, Kalia, playing various characters which will form Ram's team. So let's begin this Ram Leela by paying ode to Lord Ram. So sing with me. Ram, Siya Ram, Siya Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Raja Dasharath was pleased seeing the love among Ram and Sita. When King Dasharath presented his thought to his queens, all three were very delighted. My queens, I was thinking that now is the time to hand over the kingdom to our kids. And hence, I have decided to make Ram the next king of Ayodhya. I agree with your decision, my king. Yes, hmm. Maharaj, Ram is meant to be a king. The people of Ayodhya will prosper in Ram's kingdom. So say with me, Siyavar Ram Chandra Ki! In the forest, Ram and Lakshman built a small house. But suddenly, Sita saw something far away in the bushes. It was sparkling and shining. At first, it seemed that a ray of sunlight did appear, but then came out a golden deer. Me? I really want that I'm deer. I'm heading off to get that deer. If I don't come back soon, Lakshman, Wait for me here and please take care of Sita. Don't worry about us, brother. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm. As the arrow hit the deer, his magical spell broke automatically huh? and he appeared back in his true form as Marish. <laughs> but before dying, he spoke in Lord huh? Ram's voice and called out to Sita and Lakshman. Sita! Help me! Ram seems to be in a lot of trouble. Go help him right now. And this is huh? an order. Then around the house, he drew a line which was called the Lakshman Rekha. This should keep Sita safe and fine. This Lakshman Rekha prohibits anyone from coming inside. Please stay inside the line at all times. <laughs> After a while, Sita heard a voice from outside her hut. An old sage was at her doorstep mm. asking for fruits and rice. Bhavati Bhiksham Dehi. The sage mm. tried to approach Sita, <laughs> but was stopped as he could not cross mm. the Lakshman Rekha. I need to break my 21 day long fast. But Sita, if you help me, then I will offer you and your husband a blessing. Huh? I think your husband is in great danger. Lakshman has forbidden me to cross this line. But mm. there is nothing more important than the well-being of my husband. I'm sorry, O oh great sage. I shall cross the Lakshman Rekha myself. As soon as Sita crossed the Lakshman Rekha, the sage showed his true colors. He was no sage. He was Ravan himself. He wasn't the saint. He was the demon himself. Brother, brother, you're all right. Hearing your cry for help, Mother Sita ordered me to go and help you. Yes, I'm all right. But you shouldn't have left Sita there all by herself. That gold deer was a demon in disguise. He called out your names in my voice. Both of them hurriedly ran towards the house. Huh? But both got tensed when they did not find Sita in there. Sita! 
Thus they headed out into the jungle in search of Sita. On their journey, Lord Ram and Lakshman came across a pandit, but he wasn't an ordinary pandit. I am a sage. Where are you headed, my friend? If you can tell me something about yourself, all your sorrows I could end. Lord Ram recognized Hanuman. Hanuman? <laughs> oh, Lord Ram! Forgive me. I didn't huh? show up in my original form. No problem, Hanuman. I need to go and meet Sugriv. I have to help him huh? solve a matter. Can you show me the way, my brother? I got you, Lord Ram. <laughs> come with me. Come with me. <laughs> Greetings, King Sugriv. They are Lord Ram and Lakshman. Both of them need your help. Greetings, Shri Ram. Tell me, how can I help you? Greetings, Monkey King Sugriv. The Demon huh? King Ravan tricked my wife Sita and kidnapped huh? her from our house in Panchvati. Huh? Can you please tell us where he has taken her? This is an incident which I remember, which took place a few days back, Shri Ram. I saw a chariot flying in the sky, and from that chariot we could hear a female screaming for help. Sita. And few ornaments fell off that chariot. These are the ornaments. Do they belong to your wife, Sita? Huh? Huh? Sita. You please huh? don't worry, Brother Ram. We'll definitely find Mother Sita. Mali huh? defeated me in a dishonest way. Help me win back my kingdom, and I'll do as you say. Upon reaching Lanka, did he flinch at all? Because of this, hmm? Lord Ram began the war. <laughs> Slowly and steadily, Ravan's army started depleting by the hands of Ravan Sena under the guidance of Ram and Lakshman. Banar Sena was running riot on the demon. Ram, I am not going to spare you. Lord Ram and Ravan tried to kill each other. But Lord Ram eventually broke Ravan's chariot and all his weapons. As soon as he fell on the ground, Ravan transformed into a giant and attacked Lord Ram once again. Lord Ram tried in vain to cut Ravan's ten heads off, but he wasn't successful at all. At that time, Vibhishan told Lord Ram he should use the Brahmastra on Ravan's navel. That's the only way to defeat Ravan. Then everyone came back to Ayodhya and festivities began with lamps and light. Bharat handed over the kingdom to Lord Ram. And hence began the reign of King Ram. So say with me, Shri Ram Chandra Ki Jai!